Let's talk about Omni Movement and how you can master it before everyone else in three easy steps. Before anything else, there's a few settings that we have to make sure that we have on. The first for me is single tap run. This one you need on so that you can reach the maximum speed of sprinting as fast as possible. Auto attack sprint is also another good option and both of those will be great, especially getting used to Omni Movement, being able to sprint in any direction as fast and as easy as possible. But the second, which is a must have for responsive Omni Movement is the hybrid setting. The reason why this is important is because this is the first Call of Duty where both sliding and diving are equally as important when it comes to movement. In last year's Modern Warfare 2, diving was way more important than sliding was. In this year's Modern Warfare 3, sliding is way more important than diving is. But in Black Ops 6, since you're able to shoot while diving, they are both equally as important and incredibly useful for breaking cameras. For those of you that have not tested out the hybrid setting, essentially what this means is while sprinting, if you hold down the sprint button and then press your slide button, you will dive. If you're sprinting but want to slide, you have to lift up off of your sprint key before pressing the slide button and then you'll slide. You wanna get used to the setting while the beta is live and you will thank me later. You will probably die to accidentally diving a ton of times, but once you get over that in the next couple days, I promise you, you'll come back here and thank me. I got used to hybrid in MW3 because there are some cases where diving is actually a good mechanic to use with movement in the current game, but the importance of diving in the hybrid setting in your gameplay for Black Ops 6 is going to increase tenfold compared to MW3. I'll say it before and I'll say it again, you wanna make sure that you have the hybrid setting down to muscle memory and do not give up when you accidentally die to a couple of accidental dives every now and then. You'll get over it, you'll get the muscle memory, just trust me. And tip number two for mastering Omni movement is going to be the sliding. I'll show gameplay here, but what's different about Black Ops 6 is that you can slide in any direction, forwards, backwards, right, and left, because you can sprint in any of those directions. First thing you want to do is get used to slide canceling in each of those directions. Heading over the video now because I realized I never fully went into how to actually slide cancel. If somebody's truly trying to get used to the movement, I have my hand camera up here so that I can show you what it looks like. All that you're going to need to do to slide cancel in this game is sprint forward or sprint in any direction by clicking down the left stick, press circle and then X. That's all you need to do. Sprint, circle, X. You'll go into the sliding animation and then the standing animation. What you wanna do with that is pair that with slide X and aim in, or you can slide aim in X, but that's the muscle memory you wanna get down. And with the hybrid that we talked about earlier is clicking down on the left stick to sprint. And then before you press slide, you lift up. You can probably barely see my left thumb, but you go from the clicking motion to lifting up. So you're still sprinting forward but that's what you need to do before you press circle to slide. If you wanna dive, you hold down and then press circle and you will dive. But yeah, basically for the slide cancel, super easy. Just sprint, slide, X. Be ready to use it depending on wherever you're centering to go. There's some other great things that you can do with sliding in this game. An example is ledge sliding. I'll show you a clip right here from zombies. Essentially what you can do is jump up in the air, hold down circle so that when you land on the surface, you slide and then press circle again to slide on the surface after that. The crazy part about Black Ops 6 is you can remain ADS the entire time. So if you have the right momentum, you can jump slide off a car, slide on the road after that, all while aiming down your gun and shooting at whatever opponents are in your way. Being able to chain these movements together so fluidly is going to break cameras like you've never broken them before. That being said, going back to the basics, what you need to do at first is just practice getting the slide cancel down in each direction. I'll show you a clip here of me slide canceling right while facing forward to finish off an opponent that's one shot. And that's one of the many great examples as to why Omni movement and sliding is going to change the game. The fact that I was able to slide and still break his camera despite facing him the entire time is what's going to make this game incredibly different and one of the reasons as to why there's going to be a movement skill gap in Black Ops 6. Another slide mechanic that I'm going to touch on is the slide to prone animation. I don't think a lot of people have picked up on this yet, but this movement will slowly become meta, especially in the different directions that Omni movement provides. And another reason why I think this movement mechanic is going to take over is because of how easy it is. But instead of describing how easy it is, I'm just going to show you. All that you're going to need to do is sprint in any direction. If you're playing on hybrid, of course, lift up because it starts with a slide and then all that you do is hold down circle. That's it. Just hold down circle while you're sprinting in any direction and you will go straight to the ground. So it's a perfect mixture of sliding and drop shotting. You pair those into one motion in any direction. If you go backwards, it's pretty much like you're just falling backwards, but that's how easy it is. Literally from sprinting and you hold down circle. You can slide into drop shotting with the press of one button. All you have to do is press and hold circle. Just make sure you have like the hybrid setting or slide only. And you can slide into drop shotting with the press of only one button. The tricky part is if you have hybrid, you have to make sure you don't, you have to make sure you don't dive. But the slide into prone, or I guess supine, is not only gonna be a good movement mechanic, but it's so easy to do because you only press one button. Whereas in Modern Warfare 3, you had to press slide X, lay down, or slide circle, lay down. Now in this game, you can just slide to prone. You're here, all you do is hold down circle, and you go like that. 
So it's the same thing right to left. If you go right, just hold down circle. You go, you pretty much fall. Same thing going backwards. And like I said, forwards. And before we get into this last one, an honorable mention is bunny hopping. The way that it's nerfed in Black Ops 6 is that if you aim down sight while repeatedly jumping, it will sway your aim over and over again. So I would consider this a movement method, but only if you're challenging someone close quarters to the point where you don't necessarily need to be incredibly accurate or have to have a shot that's far away. If you're challenging something long range, I would highly recommend not jumping or spamming the jump button keeping your feet on the ground is gonna be best there. And the third and last tip for Omni movement in Black Ops 6 is going to be diving. We touched on this a little bit earlier, but what's different about diving in this game is that you can shoot mid dive. There's a slight delay and there are attachments that you can use to improve that delay. But to even use it in the game, first things first, we need to get ready to dive in any direction. So similar to how we practice the slide cancel, left, right, forward, and back, we're gonna do the same thing with diving forward, right, left, and backwards. From my experience so far, diving will most likely be more of a proactive movement mechanic than a reactive. At least when it comes to challenging gunfights, if you're one shot and trying to get away, then diving is gonna be really important. But when it comes to gunfights, being proactive with the dive is gonna be really beneficial for your gameplay. And trust me guys, the first time that you get a kill mid dive, you will understand what I'm talking about. Here's one that I got from the top of a staircase, taking out a sniper and then immediately cutting to my left and getting more kills. I'm not gonna lie, the dopamine rush is pretty insane. Is it overpowered? Probably. Will it get nerfed? Probably. But now, while it's really useful to your gameplay, it might be worth checking out. One more dive that I'll show is the prone to supine dive. I'll show you a clip here of me diving down a staircase and turning around, shooting that person as they're running up. What's different about Black Ops 6 with this diving mechanic is that you can land on your back if you turn around. So this is an interesting way to challenge off of stairs like you just saw, or out a window if you're trying to challenge somebody underneath. It's an insane way to break their camera while landing in an already drop shot of position. There's another clip here of Shotzi getting a kill mid dive and you'll see how accurately you can shoot. The thing that he's already mastered so far is that proactive challenge of making sure that by the time his gun is up and ready to shoot, he's lining up perfectly with when he spots the opponent. So when you're practicing these dives, not only are you just gonna simply dive left, dive right, dive forward, dive back, you need to dive, aim down sights, and shoot so that you can get used to the delay between diving and shooting. That way when you're trying to challenge gunfights around corners or on a staircase like you just saw Shotzi do, not only will you be more prepared, but your opponent will have less time to react because the second that they see you, you're already shooting at them. And you can shoot while you do it, but you have to wait just a second. And here's the dive to supine. That's gonna be the coolest one. In terms of being overpowered, you see what I'm talking about? I'm gonna dive and shoot right away. You see how the aim, the aim like goes down and back up. So in terms of like getting killed by a dive mid fight, you can kind of see how it affects the aim a little bit. Dead and dead. Oh my god. And yeah, those are my three easy tips for mastering Omni movement in Black Ops 6. Stay tuned to this channel for more tutorial videos on Black Ops 6, including movement, gunplay, class setups, all the above. I appreciate you all. Let me know what you think of Black Ops 6 down below, and I'll catch you next time at lunchtime.